Hello, good day everyone and welcome again to one of our recorded Let's Play sessions here in Stellaris featuring the gameplay that I am playing which is the United Nations of Seoul and this is now our 12 recorded Let's Play session for our uh, for this empire so hopefully um, we could uh, we uh, could finish the story about this. Uh, anyway, it's already the 12. And I am now uh, going to report on what's, uh, you know, the recent happenings on my uh, gameplay. So uh, for the moment, um, after the uh, successful campaign of incorporating the Mitfell Union to the... Uh, to the United Nations of Seoul, uh, the United Nations of Seoul established a federation, which I'm going to uh, make a little bit of a retcon because I uh, I uh, kind of made a mistake, to be honest. Um, this will not be the Stellar League of Fornax. I'm just going to uh, rename here to be the Fornax Union. Fornax Union. So I'm just gonna retcon that. Ah, it's already is. Okay. So we're going to change it into a uh, trade league and see if this is going to uh, work out. But for now, the name of the Stellar uh, League of Fornax will be Change um, to uh, Fornax Union. So it's basically more similar story-wise to the European Union, except this one is a carbon copy on a galactic scale. So there we go. Uh, let's see if we could change this one to a trade union. Um, hopefully, uh, everyone will say yes about this one. Okay, um, right. Um, it should be a majority vote. Subjects can join. Uh, okay, we got the Griffin Company, which is one of our. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. I am going to switch it to the slowest. Oh, uh, just to add, of course, um, I've already uh, bought an extra screen, so I can now see on two screens now. One for this one gameplay, and the other for the uh, construction you know, complete for the uh, recording, st uh, recording app studio or something like that. So New Singapore has uh, greatly been, um, what do you call this, uh, has been a great help. And we're also uh, building some uh, modules here for an orbital ring. So uh, for everybody's, uh oh well, yeah. Okay, uh, this is kind of weird. Alright, so this is right now is the, uh, of course, uh, New Singapore. So I'm just gonna, you know, run along with this one for, uh, you know, gameplay purposes or for footage. So for now, uh, there's nothing much that we can, uh, there's nothing much uh, story-wise that can be done right now. We're just going to simply consolidate our, uh, what do you call this? Uh, consolidate the, uh, the four next union. So of course the leadership goes to the uh, United Nations of Seoul. And uh, yeah. Uh, the leadership goes to the United Nations of Seoul. So I'm just going to change this one to uh, Industrial World, which is a mix of... Uh, Industrial World is basically a combination of either the Factory World or Forge World. So it's a mid-tier. Kind of like uh, shifting the balance. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, also, uh, the uh, United Nations of Seoul is planning to uh, set up a galactic uh, eastern base. So hopefully, uh, they could, uh, uh, you know, they could set up a military presence there. Uh, for the moment, I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, star base here. And uh, if it's not too much, I'll probably set up uh, 
some sort of uh, uh, oh yeah probably I will order some sort of uh, orbital habitat here okay well that's good okay let me check here if we could um, Wait, wait, wait. I'll probably set up a new uh, vassal state here, probably in Poulter or something. So for now, uh, that's the thing. Uh, we got several planets to be, uh, you know, to be managed. Uh, wait. Okay, uh, Federation has... Okay, Fanex Union changed to Federation type failed. Okay, so I guess not everyone in the uh, Fornex Union... Uh, approves of the change uh, for now if the four next union is a military alliance so uh, okay um, envoys to our federation will help improve cohesion yeah keep in mind that you are limited with how many envoys you have envoys that are assigned to federations can later be reassigned to other envoy actions well, the Midfell is no longer a threat. They kind of joined in the fold with the United Nations of Souls, so we're probably... Uh, and uh, Holy Terrasian for next union. So we got... Genogian uh, uh, Confederation Nations would be nice. So we'll go with this one. Uh, we'll just improve relations with the Mithfell Kingdom. That's it. So we got two envoys assigned here. So that gives us plus the uh, 5.7. And overall there are 12 envoys here. Uh, each one has... Uh, actually we got three envoys here. And each nation member here of the Federation is has one. So, uh, okay. Uh, that's not gonna be an issue. Okay, New Macau. Basically, my one of my vassal states here is trying to uh, build some branches. Okay, New Nigeria seems to be uh, having some uh, stability issues, but I can't blame them because uh, New Nigeria right now is basically a tomb world. Um, yeah, but we can't terraform them right now. Okay, New Libya is, uh, New Morocco is okay. Uh, okay, so we got gas melt, so we're probably going to shift this one with crystals if... Oh, okay, we don't have crystals. Uh, I'll probably go for Otokyan Monument. Uh, yeah, I'll just let them. Uh, New Netherlands is a colony. Uh, New Suez is apparently um, a trade uh, trade world. Same goes with New Palau. So, uh, okay, we're, we're okay with that, I guess. So, for our holdings, New Gish seems to be... Uh, well, um, I know how we're going to, uh, aid agency will be nice, uh, amenity, aid workers produces amenities for the subject, and unity for overlord, uh, emporium, ministry of acquisition, um, okay, let's try to, uh, Uh, okay, Overlord Propaganda is turned Subject Unity into Influence for the Overlord. Well, this looks nice. We need Influence. Yeah, I think I'll go for Influence. Ministry of Truth would be nice. Yeah, okay, Ministry of uh, Truth. Well, from the looks of it, it uh, approximate jobs upkeep is 2 unity uh, approximate jobs production for overlord is 1 so uh, 
we need all that uh, influence points that we could get to expand our uh, influence here. Public relations firm, private research, okay. So, uh, that would be nice on our part. So once it's complete, it could at least uh, give us some boost on the, uh, uh, you know, boost on the influence points. Okay, uh, this is probably the leftover from... Uh, Yeah, I guess this is the leftover, uh, you know, leftover from the recent war with the Sidran Manifold. Oh god, they nearly almost exterminated the uh, Ferbanite Death Lords here. From the looks of it. So the Sidran Manifold has already uh, taken over with this one. So the Ferbanites are probably on their way out from the looks of it. Okay, so far everything is good on the shipyards. Um, okay, uh, I haven't uh, heard of this one. New Amsterdam. Yeah, okay, fine. So we're just gonna build a few hangars and... Uh, I don't know, maybe an observation post would be nice. Okay, we're just gonna upgrade a few uh, stations here. Hydra station, basically this is the de forward base defense if I recall correct. Um, target computer uplink. Yeah, probably will go with this. And so for now on the north, uh, the main problem here is the Storm Rider Prime. They're kind of making some purge up north, but that's not exactly our concern right now or the UNS concern. So the, the most pressing issue right now is that we're just going to consolidate the power here. And, uh, oh, we got Science Division reports two success. Tomb Worlds here. Okay, uh, we got new command fleet. Uh, right, um... Uh, Leader lifespan, naval capacity. We'll go for naval capacity because we're kind of short on that. Uh, mega refiners. Probably go with Citadel. So uh, we're doing good. Okay. Um, so we got a surplus of uh, minerals here. Um, New Italy will probably be automatic. What's this? Unity Focus. Uh, we could go for Unity Focus with this guy. So uh, we're just gonna donate probably 25 of our mineral stockpile so that they can uh, automate stuff there. So where's New Italy? New Italy should be uh, doing good. Uh, okay, well, it's a 22 plus world. Um, I'll probably go with this. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, right. Um, look, Alceno. Uh huh. Well, Sanctuary, I'm not sure how I'm going to put it. Uh, this is the capital world, of course. Krant, uh, Continental, and Tropical would probably be the resort. Okay, that's good. I probably have to colonize this one with uh, 
Yeah, probably robots. So, administrative world. Admin world. So, it's gonna be an admin world, but it doesn't have a name yet. So, uh... Yeah. So, for now, the citizens has already been given a resident status. Um... So, uh, overall, there's no, not much more uh, slavery going on now. Oh, except for robots, of course. But uh, for Biopops, it's definitely... Uh, they're now considered residents. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, New France is a unification center, but uh, where is France? Oh, okay, uh, New France, we're probably stronghold, administrative office, uh, we'll probably go with the um, law enforcement. Um, oh, great. Uh, hello theaters, and then... Um, Gene clinics, and then the rest is full of administrative auto autokian movement or something like that. So uh, right now, uh, the strongest is uh, well, I, I don't have a perfect uh, survey in Uri Remnant here. Yeah, I should be building some sort of uh, observation post here in this area. Same goes with here. Uh, probably have to. Uh, fortunately, we have uh, some sort of uh, shardings here. So, well, the, uh, probably the best thing here is that we should build some sort of uh, entertainment. Uh, yeah, containment here against this one. Uh huh, they're pretty much here. Uh, okay. Right, okay, uh, things are doing good. Ecumenopolis. Uh, this is, of course, another. Uh... Oh, great. And, uh. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build a Nico Monopolis with that one. Um, or probably just shift it to. Uh, Construction complete. Construction complete. I'm just gonna ship it uh, only specifically to uh, a factory world. So for the moment, it is now 2349. Uh, time flies so fast. And we got. Uh, <laughs> Well, we got some fleets here, actually. So, we're now naming our fleets uh, UNS fleet because I get confused. And uh, and we got two mercenary fleets right now. The Fortress Initiative and the Crimson Champions, both of which are very formidable. Um, I probably have to... Uh, uh, oh, we got the Sixth Fleet here. Um, yeah, sure. So I probably have to go for a military buildup, but uh, right now my naval capacity is kind of low. So uh, we have to build some some more of a uh... science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, we got a key curator, enigmatic encoder. I have no idea what this. Oh, yeah, this is for the. Uh... God, yeah, this is for the uh, uh, disengagement opportunities, tracking, and hit. So I'll probably go with enigmatic decoder, but uh, that'll come later on. Uh, right here, too, we need 50,000. So I'll uh. Probably ask New Singapore here. Hmm. 
5,282, so, uh, yeah, well, uh, okay, so we got 45 jobs, um, okay, we'll probably need a few more, I'll just check on my, uh, market here, sorry, it's been, uh, you know, quite a while since I played this, uh, um, it's kind of, you know, uh, I have to relearn it again. Uh, I guess that's the problem if I haven't played Stellaris for quite some time. I uh, kind of will have to get used to it. So I probably will be uh, releasing slaves and uh, importing them to new to relocate them to uh, New Singapore. System reconnaissance completed. Because Black Hole has been fully surveyed. Yeah, um, this is actually a former Ring World for some reason. Uh, we could get this one. But we need 600. So an Eastern base is highly impossible. Well, we could go with this one. Demons, uh... Or establish some here up north but uh, currently the problem here is the storm rider prime they're kind of doing a lot of purges uh, okay we've uh, opened our borders with them okay it's a deal Inbound message traffic. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll agree. We'll uh, establish a... Yeah, we could form a research agreement with these guys. They're not apparently loyal now. So, uh... We're kind of good buddies with the Mythfell, our former rivals. <laughs> Or the the humans' former rivals. Uh, yeah, for now the military alliance is uh, okay. Laws. Um, probably have to shift this one with the. Uh, I probably have to shift this one with the trade league. So uh, and uh, you know just to align with it. Okay, broken gates. I have no idea what this one is. Anyway, um... Okay, Governor Sue has become experienced, but his experience has come well. Yeah, he kind of got the... Uh, Science Division arrested. report success. Okay, we got gateway construction. Um, we probably need a chance to hit. Basically, it means more um, accuracy for mine. So, we're just going to go through that. So, uh, right now, we can construct a gateway. Uh, Lore-wise, we have already uncovered uh, secrets of uh, how to make a gateway construction, but on a limited scale because uh, we still can't go for, it's still not suited for, or we're still, uh, the UNS is still unable to replicate the technology that makes the gateway uh, travel uh, on a galactic scale. Whew, that's a really long explanation. Corn fleet. Okay, corn star fleet. Um, uh, Fornax Union fleet. So there we go. So um, it would be best uh, we shall recruit a probably a Mitfell, which is kind of name is Claws of Lavender. Yeah, I guess uh, this one would be nice. Uh, he's just gonna more like a representative. Admiral Claus of Lavender, or CL for short. 
as uh, what his peers got call it. Um, for now, we're just gonna um, more like reinforce our uh, fleet here. Uh -huh. So this is gonna be a second UNS fleet. Okay, I'll do. So we got the fort and the fort fleet. I have no idea why is this one stuck. Oh wait, there's a gateway here or something. Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Ah, we need 600. Okay, I have no idea whose borders is this. Greater Galut Karni. Hmm. Yeah, we could open our borders with them. So for now, we don't have any intel regarding this uh, for uh, the Ori remnants. We could assimilate them to the Union, but uh, given that they're an ancient empire, uh, it would be a high risk to gamble about it. For now, uh, the Fornax Union is not comfortable with uh, construction complete. You know, it's not comfortable with the idea. Uh, I start the fleet yard. Okay. Uh, oh, we got a continental world here, potentially habitable. Uh, yeah. Well, we could use a human here. Um. I don't know, maybe designation for now is uh, a cool. Yeah, we, we don't have a name yet, so we'll probably have to designate that later on. So we need all the. Uh... Oh, great. Probably need a forge world or something. Uh. Right, um, okay, uh, let me take a look with this. Uh, probably have to store something here. Yeah, so I guess that's okay. So the four next Union fleet is... Let me take a look who's the main fleet here. So the wind is the main fleet. And this... So anyway, um, all right. So uh, everything's doing good right now. Um, we just have to uh, have to wait, I guess. They don't have a home base yet, so I'll uh, let's put them here. All oh, right, let me check my. Uh, so we got the single brigade 
three cruisers, two battleships. Oh, so okay, we're still capable of uh, two battleships. Construction complete. Tracking spaceborne life form. Construction complete. Okay, 300,000, so it's still overwhelmingly powerful. Even to our uh, mercenary fleets here. Hmm. So, uh... Uh, even for the Fornax Union fleet. So I'm just gonna station my Fornax Union fleet here. So that they could uh, easily be accessible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a good thing that they only have a single fleet here, a single 300,000 uh, strength. Okay, let me check my uh, New Panama. Okay, we already have... Ships refitted. Okay, um... Uh, we got low uh, amenities here, so we're just gonna go for hollow feeders. Uh, it's a refinery world, so it won't, uh... So that's okay, um... It could either be a refinery or something. New Netherlands, um... Right, um... Probably first precinct house. Um... New Germany, of course this is an industrial forge world. Okay, um, right. Probably all hollow theaters. Commercial zones, and then a Tokyo monument just to, uh, add us some unity. Which, uh, is kind of good. So, uh, let me check if we can upgrade New Singapore. Since there to uh, planetary. Additional four. So we got. Unity can be spent. Sentient tears to gain more experience to increase uh, sentient perk. Right, uh, I guess we need to complete this one. This one's 966, and this one is, uh,. Anyway, that's 16 months away. That's not exactly, uh, hard. New Iran, uh, seems to be doing good. Okay. Ah, oh, New Mongolia. Um, okay, so, uh, New Mongolia, it's an industrial world. We'll probably go for a full world. Um, kinda need them. Construction complete. Oh, wait, that's my bad. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Construction complete. What? Oh, okay. I guess I just have to automate it. Hmm. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, well, that's good. So we're doing good on our economy. Federation-wise, uh, it's now positive. Um, trade league. So who is not in favor with this? So everybody doesn't like a trade league. Yeah, we'll probably go for a trade league later on. For now, um, it seems that our newly formed alliance isn't exactly uh, 
uh, it's still shaky. Anyway, it's already 30 minutes, so I'm just going to save this one. Uh, this will be UNS episode uh, 12, letter A. So there we go. And I'm going to save this one on my uh, OBS. Right, uh, so that was uh, quick. It's a good thing that I already have a second screen and bought up. So for the moment, um, the UNS is just basically have to rebuild its uh, military complex right now. And uh, strengthen its military. Uh, in case of any, uh, you know, in case of any threats. Oh, require citadel technology. Huh? Uh, yeah, Tigra Station. Oh, okay, um, probably had this and this. And this. And then uh, next time we're gonna build an observation post so that we can monitor uh, all the fleets in the area for the Uri Remnant. We might, uh, you know, assimilate the Uri Remnant later on. So, uh, yeah, auto pass. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Naval capacity plus thirty. That should give us, uh, how about reverse engineering? Right, uh, I guess we're all good with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the only thing that we're going to retcon right now. Uh, it's going to be called the Fornax Union. Um, uh, Story-wise, it's basically a carbon copy mirror image of the European Union. An anonymous vote. So we got several members here, but all of them are positive, so, uh, which is good. Hmm. Okay. So right now, there's still no threats. Um, I was expecting that a crisis level threat might show up in 2350. But that's okay, as long as it's delayed, uh, it's, not looking, it's doable. Ah, yeah, 632. Okay, it's a good thing, we got now 6 on influence. Construction complete. Just probably have to return this one here. It's for the army, I have to consolidate this one. Uh, 
tracking spaceborne life form. Well, as long as that life uh, life form is not gonna attack UNS, it's less of uh, an issue. Got 2k here. Okay, I'm not sure who's selling. Oh, great, I missed it out. And the rest will probably have to be turned to tree. Okay, we have a very high crime rate in Brazil. So, uh... New Indonesia is doing good. Crime rates are uh, very low. Oh, New Norway, okay. Yeah, it's always been a thorn on my end, so. Uh, yeah, okay. It's good. Yeah, so everything's looking good now on our. Uh, no, on our. Uh, Oh, great, what's this? Uh, probably would go for Autokyan. Okay, that's good. I probably have to set up some fortress worlds here in this area. <laughs> okay, uh, so everything's doing good. So no wars right now. Um, at least not that I know of. Okay, right now Yidra station is one of the most heaviest uh, borders in the UNS. Um, okay, let me check the Stormrider Prime. Who they are at war with. They got 22 planets and... Uh, I don't know, they're probably doing some sort of uh, purge, I guess, on their uh, hometown. Right, uh, I guess we're gonna sell this one. Blocker cleared. And uh, right. Uh, yeah, I guess I just have to build uh, more um, fortress worlds.
Okay, racing center is not my line yet, seems to be only. Okay. Okay, so Lumidla Komarov has, uh, you know, uh, is investigating that area. Hmm. Right, uh, hmm. Okay, let me check the union. It's now on level 1, so there should be some laws here. Construction complete. Okay, uh, fleet contribution is still uh, minimal. Uh, we can't do much about even the fleet centralization. So uh, we're okay with that. Uh, we've got cancel refugees uh, which arrive in New Diego Garcia. Oh, Sidran. Okay, so Sidran's. Uh, what's the Jantis? Uh, let me check. Yeah, John this. What? Oh, okay. This, they're gonna claim it right here. Huh. Galactic Kingdom Emergency Declared, Fallout Kingdom, the Anarchy Conservation mm -hmm. Act. Yeah, well, we're not exactly uh, fond of the Tepanyakis. Okay, we're just gonna... Great, who is selling human slaves again? Two of them. Alloy production. That should do the trick. And uh, population got to add a little more enforcer. This guy's. Construction complete. Excellent, Dragon's Trineka Station. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, why does this is not occupied yet? Yeah, we we'll probably have to. I'll probably consult that later on what to do about that. In Nigeria, New Greenland. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, we got ourselves. How about this one? Okay, for Zen world, uh, they're more productive being an agricultural world. Uh, yeah, agri world. So I'm just gonna name that uh, later on. Monopolis. Uh, what should I name this one? Our pioneers have made planet fall. New Slova... Slovakia. Yeah, New Slovakia. There we go. Whew, okay, so we got uh, good, um, good production, but uh, construction complete. We we'll probably have to uh, max out the, uh, you know, the alloy production. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay, uh, what's this? Embassies plus three unity. Probably go with this, never surrender. So we'll just go one more and we're um, so we just have to wait 51 months. Okay, the Foreign Axe Union fleet is uh, yeah, doing all its thing. So Intel got 124. VV Sandia. Well, I have no idea what VV Sandia. Might might have been a slave race or something. <laughs> okay, uh, right, um, so that was still just 18 minutes, uh, mm -hmm. in Nigeria, mm -hmm. hmm. okay, mm -hmm. right, let me check with that. Ships refitted. Okay, and there's a lot of uh, construction folks, complete. Uh, fleeing uh, from Storm Rider fleet. Okay, uh, Uh, 
Yeah, what's this orbital shield generator? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, we're not, uh... What I actually need is, uh, some sort of alloy. Orbital uh, alloy process, but, uh, it's still not showing up, so probably I haven't discovered that tech yet. <laughs> Science Division reports <laughs> a new breakthrough. Okay, everybody's on Citadel now. Now, I am not sure about this, um... This new tech, reactive armor. So what does it? More armor hardening plus fifteen. Okay, we're good with that. Oh, okay, uh, we're still uh, researching the uh, defragmenter. Okay, fine with me. Okay, <laughs> so we got 4,000 uh, fleet here on our uh, land base. Yeah, that's gonna be a... Uh... Okay, we got Metal Gyrus. Um... I probably have to go with a listening post with this one. <laughs> okay, so I guess all is well. We're just uh, consolidating our management here. And from the look of it, our uh, almost good uh, standing, except for the Ferbanite in the Sidran, uh, they really hated us. And the Igarian Erratic Observers. Yeah, patronizing, but they hated us. Uh, this guy hates us, but uh, dismissive. Well, the Pricky T is, well, still the Pricky T. Storm Rider doesn't like us, the Valort. Moody <laughs> Remnant in particular. Okay, so we're now on a surplus of food as uh, and we're on a nutritional plenitude. So I got no idea why. Oh yeah. 
I forgot. Uh, instead of selling those, I should be. Um, yeah, where's New Nigeria? As far as I'm concerned, New Nigeria is a mining, but it's um, um, it's more like a. Yeah, with only a five. Okay, well, we could open our decision. Um, we could remove the pops can now go normally. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go for Locker Domana. So New Italy, if I recall correct. Oh. Okay, um I guess we're good with this one. So New Italy will probably be a forge world. Um We need all the uh metal producing uh stuff. Okay, uh, where the first circle seemingly consisted of a ramshackle dwelling of the uh, outcast destitute, the second circle more common United Nations of the Zoro upper planning. Okay, uh, yet another burial site. Oh, New Macau mm -hmm. is also establishing offices, so, uh, okay, good for me. Okay, as your patron, we would like to, uh... Okay. Uh-huh. How about this guy? Huh. Okay, how about this one? Um, we'd like to rent a fleet. It's a deal. So yeah, we have now a new fleet. So, uh... Yeah, we got at least, uh, if I recall correct, uh, three mercenary fleets. The Gar Farm, the Fortress Initiative, and the... So we'll just leave one of the complete. mercenary fleets to the uh... Okay, we'll just leave one mercenary fleet uh... Oh great, where's the mercenary fleet? It should be here somewhere. Griffin. Oh, Horsham. Okay, uh, we'll probably be... Okay, we're kind of now negative two for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, okay, um, this might be something to do with the ships. So yeah, okay, uh, this is quite a problem right now. Okay, we're just gonna sell this one. the sentry array with this one. Um, to 20,000. Uh, okay. Order is restored in Lebanon, which is good. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, Honestly, um, I have no idea why I'm negative 2,000 right now. Great. Uh, 
Okay, we're just gonna lift the state of march along with that. So uh, we could uh, try to invade this one. Oh, the Kalzan Principality. Okay, where are these guys? Okay. But... Huh. Okay, I guess they wanted to, uh, you know, want some sponsorship, I guess. Well, anyway, whatever it is, I have to save this one. Uh, this will be UNS episode 12, letter B. There we go, and I am going to save this one on my uh, OBS. So we'll take a break for a while after this. Okay, welcome back everyone after that uh, refreshing break that we had. So let's continue on our gameplay. So for the, for the moment, we got a couple of uh, problems here. I am now negative 2,000. And I have no idea why. It's probably something to do with the ships. So uh, I probably have to... Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, do something here. For all, we got a lot of... Uh, okay, we got three mercenary fleets here uh, with the power of 304,000. They also have caravan racket industrial fleet. Yeah, okay, we're, we're good with that. Unfortunately, our uh, economics right now is, uh... Okay, so probably, uh, here's the thing. I'll probably have to, uh, reorganize my, uh, fleet here. Uh, this is, will be the third UNS fleet, I guess. Uh, you need to rearrange some fleets here. Sort out the ones that is needed and sort out the ones that are not needed. Uh, this will be the f I... I don't really have, uh, this one. Uh, I got the Void Spawn, the fifth, uh... Okay, so we got several fleets here, but it's kind of a bit of a mess. Uh, probably the main reason that we're, we're having some maintenance issues here is because the overabundance of our ships. And uh, top it off with the Fornax Union Fleet. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, um, we'll try to see if we could invite these guys to join under uh, their fanatic militarist. Uh, unfortunately, um, they're more like a vassal. <coughs> And they're at war, Furbanite. Huh. Okay, so if the Furbanites are kind of at war almost with them. So, uh, that's really a thing. How about the Genosian, uh... Well, they're loyal, obviously. Uh... Oh, they're already part of it. Okay, the military alliance. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. So they're already part of the Fornax Union. Hmm. Okay, uh... Right. Hmm. So, uh, if I recall correct, Kelsan are... Uh... Genosian Confederate Nations. Uh... Okay, so if we go at war with this one, um, well, um, we don't really have a, we, we actually have good relations with them, so uh, there's no reason why we should uh, fight the war with them. 
shall say that. Uh, they have a secret fealty with us, so we could open our borders with them. I guess it won't really hurt. Citizens autocracy, but if we declare war with them, uh huh, vassalize. Okay, uh, we're probably. Well, I guess the Calcian Republic are pretty much peaceful. We, we, we don't really have to fight them if... Uh... So right now, our main concern is this reason. Uh, this... Negative uh, 2000. Uh, oh. I probably have to check my uh, expansion planner here. See which... Cap. Uh, Savannah World. Okay, well, we could uh, colonize this one. Generation World. Generator World. Okay, so we're going with that. So we already have some designations with that. Uh, um... Okay, so we're okay with that. <sighs> Whew, this is really uh, have a. Well, for the moment, uh, the thing that we must do is build up our naval capacity. Um, uh, we transfer 10% of naval capacity to our federation, of course, uh, which is not very good. I will just form this one as a trade federation, but who su nobody supports this one. I have no idea why. Uh, everything is positive, but they're not exactly open. Um, okay, uh, well that's good with us. Sphere of influence. Right, so I, I guess uh, we have to really uh, make some uh, fortress worlds here. Shalak is um, should be considered as well as a fortress world. Yeah, I'll probably have to consider one. Uh, I think we've already sent this one, uh, the Desert World. So this is going to be a Fortress World uh, automated Fortress World. So uh, we're going to have a lots of, uh, uh, you know, lots of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, military installations. You get a new Jago Garcia, uh, Alpine World is 15. Yeah, we need to build up a military. Um, Inbound message traffic. Okay, what's this one? Falar Kingdom. Okay, well, uh, yeah, sure. They're kind of friendly. Kind of funny that they have a cradle of the king. Uh, we can offer an association status with them. Our content present company. Okay, yes, open communicate. Um, yes, open communications. We wish to rent the fleet. It's a deal. Goodbye. Yes, we need to confirm and go with the commercial pack. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, so okay, we, we can offer Falar Kingdom, they're really huge right now, um, we could use some sort of association on the uh, eastern side of the galaxy. So it's kind of funny that, uh, oh great, uh, we're kind of negative 27 right now. Okay, uh, everybody's okay with it, so uh, yeah. 
So they have an association status. Um, Inbound message traffic. Okay, what's this? Okay, sure. Okay, we could establish an embassy. And with the Calzar Republic. Um, yeah, everybody's very cordial right now. So, uh, we were expecting that things would be a little bit more, um, uh, well, what do you say this? Uh, more violent, but, uh, well, since they're very friendly, uh, we're not gonna turn that down. <laughs> Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, so which one? We got an admin. Oh, New Chile. Okay. The, of course, New Chile will be a fortress world. Uh, I think I should write New Ecuador or something. Okay, New Netherlands. Uh, we should put on... Uh, okay, New Netherlands. Uh, Construction complete. Go for Agri World or something, or uh, Trade World would be nice. It's either Trade World, uh, yeah, Commercial World, I guess. So it's gonna be in a Trade World for now. Okay, New Slovakia is uh, doing well. Um, okay, uh, I, I could have sworn there was some sort of relic world here. Right at the edge of the border. Yeah. Science division report success. Okay, we got the reactive armor. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for um, how about advanced real gun. Reactive armor, armor hardening plus fifteen percent. Uh, we could go for shield hardener. Armor and shield. Uh, I think that will be on battleships. Um, artillery and uh, yeah, I think uh, this one carrier type. Uh, we we'll probably go for uh, clear design and then auto complete ship. Uh, still the same though. Um, yeah, we'll probably go with the reactive armor and shield harder. So, uh. Ships refitted. Okay, so that's the unique thing about the uh. Ah, great. Artillery stern. Ah, okay, we got an artillery broadside. So this one is gonna be a carrier. Because, well, basically, they're carriers. Well, we could, um... Oh. Alright, um... Okay, uh, end of communications. Do 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 do. So we got the Pyrian Protectors and the Icarian Agents. Uh, there's Xenophile. Mm -hmm. 
And this one is some sort of holy guardians. Uh, well, there should be a materialist uh, somewhere here. That's okay. Um, 47,000. Oh, this is very powerful for a fleet. Uh, Okay, new Madagascar. Um, yeah, I think we have a uh, trade and Okay, so we're good with that. Um, hmm. Oh, we got a mining core. We have claimed a new world. Construction complete. Yeah, we could just uh, launch a fire fight here for the mining drones. New Madagascar, obviously. New Madagascar is. Um, uh, what do you call this? Um, Dread encampment. Uh, so yeah, this will be a... No, we're not gonna go for planet automation. Um, it's gonna be a fortress... Uh, yeah, fortress station. Okay, so uh, we're good with that. Okay, <laughs> uh, New Mongolia. Uh, chemical plants. Unfortunately, I guess we don't have any mining. Uh, I don't know about this one. Um, yeah, okay, well, it's okay. Uh, we just need to take our time with this. Oh, 21%. This is... Uh, uh, yeah, I have to micromanage Science this division one. reports a new breakthrough. Okay, uh, decoder. How about uh, output? We need this one. Engaging enemy station. Well, New Mongolia has uh, about 116. We could replace uh, this one to industrial district. So yeah, that should do the trick. basically fighting uh, mining drones here so hopefully we're just uh, you know, gonna destroy them construction complete That's, uh, Construction complete. Okay, um, right. Uh, the alarm station. Okay, uh, what do we got? Um, how about a deep field just generator?
Let me go for high ground and register. Okay, so we got two alloys here that are currently. If we cancel the. Ships refitted. Okay, um. Yeah, we'll just save this one. Icarus, yeah. Uh, uh, what's this? Tracking a chance to hit plus five. This is less. We we'll probably have to. Uh, okay. No, we're not gonna auto upgrade this one. Oh, great. Oh, okay, uh, I guess our generator is a bit uh, backward. Okay, uh, right, um... Construction complete. I'm gonna go for the 10th UNS fleet. Uh, 4th UNS fleet apparently. Okay, Bubbles, Dreadnought, no. Uh, Gourney, Starship, uh, Fort Fleet. UNS, uh, second. Yeah, we probably have to, uh, Launch some uh, claims here. Construction complete. So we're probably going to go for a big gamble here, which is not very good. Okay, uh, uh, 400. Great, um, okay, uh, what's this? Uh, just some minor pirate fleet. In Aether system. Oh, okay. Okay, so the Crimson's uh, currently engaging them. Fleet action underway. Could send our um, survey this one. So we got the rubricator here in this relic room. So uh, it's very important. Okay, that's okay with that. Uh, we could reverse engineer arcane technology. It might give us something. Fascinating and celebrate diversity. Uh, 
Ascot. Battery miniaturization. Fortunately, um, yeah, okay. Well, we can open a communication. Wow, we could start our operation here in absorbing Ori Remnant. Ah, oh, they have pathetic fleet power. We could absorb them. They don't seem to be, uh... <clears throat> uh... They don't seem to be the aggressive type, I guess. Or maybe... Ah, oh, great. Uh, I guess I have to, uh... Yeah, I, I think I have to, uh... Call in, uh... Okay, uh, how about claims here? Uh, we can get Rixim. This one. This one. So we'll get to go practically almost all of them. Okay, uh, okay, let's go. Excellent. Okay, uh, here it goes. Hopefully, we're not gonna declare war with them anytime soon. Construction complete. Uh, Well, actually, we're gonna have a f to have a fight with the Rubicon here. So the Fortress Initiative could basically go here. Okay, um... Yeah, they have a very overwhelming tech, which we actually need. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. <laughs> Will not be bullied. Okay, so, uh... We're kinda... Oh, we're torpedoes. We're gonna go for advanced uh, strike craft. Yeah, we're kinda in a pinch war here with the Ori Remnant. That's okay. Uh, they could start a war. Construction complete. <laughs> The gear a star base. Um, yeah. Okay, well, they can uh, start a war if they wanted. So we're gonna amass stuff here. Uh, okay, so we got uh, 4K here. Another 5K here. There are no other armies here, so okay. Uh, well, we could declare war with them now. Twenty-seven. Okay, I guess they're not really that much of a. Okay, I uh, will declare war. We have to strike. They're very angry with it. Oh yes. So everybody in the Fornax Union would uh. Uh.
So they kind of have a very overwhelming power, but uh, we'll probably have to rely on our Merc's fleet here. Standing by to commence offensive operations. Weapons free. Repeat, weapons free. Okay, weapons free. So our main goal is to destroy this main fleet, this one, the biggie one. So this will be the... Oh, what's this? Uh, Fornax Union. I have no idea what is this. Orion War. The Haito. Uh, I, I guess this is an error. Um, okay, so we're just gonna save this one. So uh, this will be UNS Episode 12, Letter C. And there we go, um, we're going to save this one on our OBS. After this, uh, we're going to uh, go through our uh, final 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play. Alright, uh, we've already saved that, so let's resume now on our, uh, uh, you know, uh, war here. We're probably claiming some land here because we need to get the Rubicon and some stuff here. It's mostly territorial di disputes, uh, but uh, since the Fornax Union is basically now uh, made up of several, uh, you know, several, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, you know, several uh, nation states which uh, style themselves as more like the European Union of the Fornax Galaxy. Okay, uh, huh. Crimson Company is, uh, yeah, I probably have to go rally here. Got it, uh, oh, great, I guess, oh, uh, our pioneers have made planet fall. Ah, great, I guess this is an error. <laughs> Okay, uh, got some settlers to make planet fall. Uh. Okay, let me, uh, let me check with the Erisu here. Well, we're definitely, uh, Okay, so they're they're mostly on a defensive war, so we're okay with that. Um, uh, Meryl Louis de la Cruz. Yeah, I probably have to hire a new guy. Lauren Dangu. Okay, Lauren's ni nice. Okay, uh, where is this little freak? Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, so we're uh, currently battling this, guys. 38, 96, 95. Okay, I guess we've... Uh... Oh, great. The fleet just went off our radar. Oh, well, they're kind of attacking this, guys. Okay, that's okay. So it's just 23 for status quo, but uh, we're not uh, going for the status quo. We're gonna capture several of their systems here. Okay, we got the Cr Crimson Company fleet. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're headed off here. Oh god, this one's gonna be butchered. Oh, Jesus Christ, 186,000. They better... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, whatever. Okay, fine, let's go. 186,000 was gonna be, uh... Ah, damn it. 
Okay, Edix. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for exotic gases, fuel, shield boost, ammunition, explosives, armor, and uh, focusing crystals. Everything that we got here. So let's go. Every enchilada they could. Uh, Construction complete. You know, they could. Uh, God, this one also maxed out its uh, armor. 196,000. Construction complete. Oh, well, this is something. Third layer. Um, the game into the left final scientist curious about what they will find next. Okay, uh Right, I'm just gonna pause the game for a second here. So uh just give me a second. Hello everyone and uh we're back. So I just had a few distractions uh, a few moments ago, but uh anyway everything sorted out, so let's continue on with our uh, recorded let's play. Um, so for now, we're already having some, uh, uh, you know, intense fighting here. Um, but of course I needed it to reduce the, uh, amount of alloys and, uh, energy. So probably that should reduce or do the trick. Uh, speaking of which, um, there should be some sort of, uh, capacity subsidies here. If I'm correct. I could go up with that. So, uh, alright, uh, we got Admiral Miguel Hernandez died. Oh, when Gapoli was destroyed. Okay, that was a bad start. Got the coordinates of our Rubicus last known location. We have discovered a habitable planet, what we believe have some form of settlement covering a large portion of its surface. The settlement consists of tall pile-like towers visible all the way from our space. Our archaeologists are eager to excavate in search of the rubricator. Okay, just uh, start digging. And uh, we'll start, uh, I don't know, start doing something. Okay, um... So for now, there is heavy fighting. Um, they got around 3,900. Uh, these guys also got 3,000. Uh, and a very good uh, thing to, uh, you know, start a war anyway. So uh, here's the thing. Uh, hopefully I got enough, I guess I got enough minerals here to... Uh, Ah. Okay, well, anyway, sorry, I was distracted. I'll probably have to recruit a few guys here. Um, recruit the armies. Um, okay. Three for each planet. Um, one, one. One, two, three. We're probably going to recruit some dread armies here. Oh, we got the Dread Midfell in Human, but I prefer Human. Okay, uh... Right, um... Okay, we're gonna go for Assault Armies because it only takes minerals. I mean excess of minerals, not energy. So I still got some errors here, but uh... Oh, we got a lot of volunteers here for the army. Oh well, uh, one, two, three. Okay, uh, New Canada still has some problems, so I'll, uh, probably have to, uh, okay. Crude, uh, Midfell, I guess. Okay, one, two, three. So we got 36 planets, uh, that's a lot to manage. Well actually they're not most of it planets, they're uh, 
some of them are actually uh well uh orbital stations oh i got a racket that's nice hmm? oh 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 Okay. Remember video games? Okay, uh, just give me a moment here. Uh, there's some distractions again. Okay, my apologies with that. There's a lot of uh distractions uh, it's really hard to concentrate if somebody's always uh you know disturbing me every uh five minutes or so anyway uh okay so i'll recruit oh okay so this is not exactly uh we'll recruit uh robotic assault oh no i'm not gonna recruit that we're probably well new lebanon Probably go for it. Humans. Well, we had a lot of midfells here. Okay, I'll uh, probably contain midfell. Oh, right. Okay, so they don't exactly have a soldier here. Well. Yeah, this is kind of surprising. They don't have soldiers here. Anyway, um... Okay, New Italy. Um... I'm going to recruit the armies here. Uh... Okay, uh, how... Ah, uh, requires planetary administration. Probably it's... Okay, it doesn't really exactly have, uh... Okay, uh, that's okay. Well, the... Oh, they don't have soldiers, that's... Oh, that's awful. Okay, the Diego Garcia, I will probably, um... In Germany, um... Uh huh. Well, uh, okay, New Slovakia. Uh, right. Okay, uh, right. Um, Okay, New Macronesia, um, we'll probably go for, um... Oh, okay, there's some newly established states that we could not, uh... Okay. Uh, well, I haven't realized I got a lot of, uh, folks down here. <coughs> it's a Cormathan. I haven't heard of this, uh... Uh, Kormathani. I have no idea what's a Kormathani here. Ah, oh, okay, um... Hmm. Probably they're on the worker class, but, uh... They're not, uh... Okay, uh, I guess that goes, um... Mm hmm we got a shortage of energy credits. Uh, celebrate diversity, yeah, that'll give us... Oh? Uh, how about private collectors? Uh, okay, so we got, uh... Right, uh, we got eight relics, uh, and we are just at least a years away for a new and ascension perk. So, uh, hopefully, we could uh, secure our victory here. 
unfortunately it seems that the Uri remnant here still poses a great threat and uh, sooner or later our fleets have to meet them anyway um yeah uh that's really a uh, thing here you probably have to uh i guess uh the word of advice here is that we have to get all the provinces first before the main uh uh, before the main capital, uh, just part of, uh, you know, uh, I think, uh, you know, so that we don't have any war exhaustion. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, Tarvalem. And now they have the Tarv, uh, I'm pretty sure Tarvalem is some sort of Tupanyaki, uh, anyway, it's a, it's a trainer system. Last I checked that Tarvalem is some sort of, uh, Ah, they got a uh, fleet here, the Uri Remnant, but their uh, armies aren't exactly that good. Okay, we'll just uh, attack this one. Uh-huh, 178,000. Okay, well, well, no, 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 we'll just have to wait. Yeah. Okay, did we uh, get this area? Alright, so we successfully uh, burnt them out. Okay. Now, while we're at it, uh, I think I should commission... Uh, uh, you know, we need to research that. Okay, we're just gonna send um, an army there. The army's not gonna attack anyway if uh, it feels that it's not gonna win. So we got uh, at the moment a high war exhaustion right here. Um, but uh, I think we can handle it. Okay, so we're now reduced to negative 359 from 2000, which is uh, honestly quite good. And our, uh... Okay, um... Honestly, the... Uh, the morality of this war is, uh... I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna put this on lore, on how the... Uh, four next union or the United Nations of Seoul went to war with the Uri Remnant. So, uh... Yeah... Well, the first Unionist fleet probably have to uh, assign a new admiral, uh, Larry O'Malley. Yeah. He's a trickster, so uh, now, um, okay, let me check the policies here on our war doctrine. We could go for, uh, yeah, I think we go for uh, rapid deployment. Yeah, we're okay with expansionists. We could either go for expansionist or isolationist. We could go also for cooperative. Uh, this empire will attempt to find common ground and negotiate with other empires in the name of friendship. Yeah, we could go with this one. Uh, border friction. Yeah, we could go with this one. Uh... Yeah, we'll we'll go for cooperative next Our time. Our pioneers as, uh, have made planet fall. Diplomat. So we're gonna find some common ground. Guess that's the more reasonable thing uh, we have right now. Uh, for now, our main uh, objective here is to destroy this one, this uh, fleet, that this 323,000. After that, uh, 
pretty much the whole left uh, galactic west is under the control now of the UNS. Uh, okay. Well, they just took the uh, star base, but not the planet. So. Uh, Okay, we'll just go for normal speed. I think uh, it's about time we go for normal. After all, we're having uh, some sort of slowdown anyway, so it's probably mid-game now. It's 23:54. Now, uh, supposedly, uh, just for an, uh, just for a, uh, you know, uh, record, uh, for the record, uh, the Christ, I set the crisis to 23:50, so we're already four years. So there's a possibility that the crisis might uh, appear. So, uh, of course it all depends on the uh, computer here. If it's glitching, then there's a possibility that, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that, uh, it might appear later on. Okay, it's a deal. Goodbye. Uh, well, we could go attack this one. So we're gonna go for achieve the war goals here. Pearson system is okay, but the uh, problem is the Fallen Empire is not gonna stop, so we have to eradicate this one. We have to eradicate the uh, Fallen Space Empire. Space reports enemy contact. <laughs> of course, the UNS and the Foreign Action Union is taking a big risk here because of. Uh... Oh, how come the Fleet Fleet is here? Okay, uh, I have no idea with them. Let me check with the Fifth Fleet. <laughs> Auto Best. Uh huh. This is getting a little bit of uh... Yeah, I'll probably command that later mm -hmm. on. So, okay, we're uh... Going through here. Um, we need to destroy this one. By the way, it's amazing that I don't have any negatives right now. Okay. Okay, once the uh, uh, once the uh, armies here as uh, UNS army is already finished the recruitment of uh, these divisions, we'll probably have to launch an invasion on the southern uh, borders. Anyway, this war is totally unavoidable and necessary. Anyway, sooner or later we'll be uh, you know going toe to toe with this. Uh, Probably have to divert this one. Construction complete. Yeah, it's always slightly defended, so uh, don't have an issue with that. Okay, so probably I'll be uh, recording this gameplay back to back. Uh, yeah. So I'll just probably after this, uh, I'll just probably take a few minutes break, uh, charge my phone, and then uh, resume to episode 13 of this.
Oh god. Uh, they're getting uh, stronger, I guess. So we're gonna attack this one by full force. Um, Anyway, we need to reverse engineer as well this uh, technology that the uh, Fallen Empire uh, uh, has, this uh, so-called anti-dark uh, matter thing. And we need these two capitals as well for uh, economic reasons. Now we can just move the pops actually, half of the pops to uh, New Singapore. We could use uh, available jobs here. Um, uh, great. So we're just gonna add a few more. Okay, um, we're going to add on the market as well. Okay, um, what do we got? So we're just gonna buy some Furbonites here. But, cost about 12,000. Uh, okay. to do mining okay that's okay not in a hurry so we're just gonna go in for a good view with this one So yeah, I guess that's a good view for about a few seconds. Ah, oh, Fort Fruit is gonna take a beating out of it. Um, the Gripen Company fleet and the uh, Foreign X Union fleet is uh, working double time on that. Ah, can you believe we're, we're having a, a really good slowdown nowadays. So we'll just have a little bit fast. Okay, that's uh Yeah, that's quite good. We're doing we're doing good progress here. New Macau is also uh probably doing their share but I think this is a mercenary fleet dragon spearhead fleet okay we should be uh, 10 months okay uh, Right, uh, so that was just only for two months. So uh, anyway, that's not surprising because we're already midway in the game, so we're definitely having a slowdown now. Plus, I've uh, got half of the vision here because I have some shared Science sensors division with my uh, reports a new breakthrough with my uh, foreign X union. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably go for the magic. How about face disruptor? Yeah, I think we'll go for face disruptor. Um, this one is advanced strike craft. Uh, you might need that for our carriers, I guess. Uh, 
Let's go. Okay, well, uh... Alright, okay. Well, uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay, for the first time, we are now at Pa- Oh, well, holy guacamole! That's 400,000? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be a big fight. Okay, okay, I wanna take a look with this one. This is gonna be a very big fight. Alright. Oh my goodness. How are they gonna stood up? I don't know. But it's gonna be a very big nasty fight. That's what I know. So let's see how is this gonna end up. So they're definitely very strong, we can see that. Um, most of my uh, fleets here are already uh, getting knocked off from orbit. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, uh, yeah okay. So, uh, from the looks of it, uh, this is gonna be a one hell of a fight. Of course, it's pretty obvious that they are overwhelmingly powerful, um, as we can see that. But I guess my reinforcements will be arriving soon. God, what a mess. Okay, I guess that's enough footage. Science division it's pretty reports obvious new that, uh, All right, our missionary fleet has entered the fight. Good. Goody, goody, goody. Advanced strike graph. Yep, that's what we need. Uh, mega refiners. Yeah, okay, well, uh, synthetic crystal plants. We're gonna go for synthetic crystal plants because we need that. Uh, we got the 149,000 from Crimson Fleet, so uh, this should be a very, very good fight. So yeah, it's a good thing that uh, the re mercenary reinforcements have arrived, along with the uh, new Macau here, I guess. So uh, yeah, we're badly beaten up here. It's pretty much no surprise with that. Uh, the whole alliance uh, fleet is decimated. They're very, very overwhelmingly powerful right now. So, uh... I anyway, know we got two fleets here, 149. I guess that will be enough. Okay, we got the 206,000, uh, uh, at least that's uh, supposed to be more than enough to uh, kick their butt. At least, uh, right, uh, these guys are now entering combat. Construction complete. Okay, Fortress Initiative has already uh, initiated the battle here. So they're still short about a hundred thousand, but uh, 
Yeah, of course. Uh, Admiral Dimitri Titov just died of UNS Galaxy. No surprise with that. Uh, Crimson Company fleet as well is just arriving. So, uh, we're gonna smack them. Yeah, of course. Uh, that's good. Okay, I'll uh, probably have to transport the 5th UNS fleet here. Okay, that should do the trick. So we got the Fortress Initiative, we got the Crimson Fleet, and they're already engaging this guy. Uh, okay. Oh good, it's already reduced to 179 fleet and 300,000. So good. Our, uh, our, uh, what do you call this? Our mercenaries are really doing their job here. It's now almost the same, uh, so it's a very major battle uh, right now happening here. Oh, uh, okay, so, uh, as much as uh, I'll probably just have to finish the battle with this one, uh, and then after that we'll just uh, take a break. Uh, we'll go for episode uh, 13 now. Okay, it's now reduced to 66,000. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's now reduced to 33,000. Well, that's nice. So, uh, they basically pulled out. Alright. So, uh... Uh, they didn't lose, but we got a major... Uh, really major fight here. Anyway, that's good. Um, probably have to engage with the uh, invasion fleet here. So we'll go for General Imi Numa... Numa Nien or some guy like that. Okay, um... Right, so uh, I guess we'll have to... Uh, I'm just gonna uh, collect all my uh, arms here to the rally point and then we'll just uh, you know call it a day so uh, there we go fresh new volunteers from every UNS world While the necessity of this war is still being uh, debated, um, we, the UNS is now uh, rallying all its troops. Okay, uh, there we go. So uh, there we go, we're just going to save this one. Uh, this will be uh, UNS episode 12 letter D. So there we go, and we're just gonna save this one, we'll take a break, and we're we'll just gonna be filming the episode 13 back to back on this uh, recorded Let's Play. So for those of you who are watching, thank you uh, for watching, I uh, don't really know what to say. So uh, anyway, uh, have a great day everyone, and see you on my next uh, recorded Let's Play. So bye bye for now.